This is the Windows Deployment Services demo. In this demo I will demonstrate how to configure Windows Deployment Services. When using MDT and Windows Deployment Services together, we don't really use the install feature of Windows Deployment Services. We are just using the Pixie Listener to being able to pixie boot the boot images over the network. And we are also using the multicast protocol in uh, Windows Deployment Services to being able to multicast our images. But again, we are not using the install features of Windows Deployment Services. So let me go to the uh, deployment server. I will start the Windows Deployment Services console. If I go right click and go properties on my server, I will see the configuration that I have. In the Pixel Response tab, I can control which policy to provide for my clients. Mostly with MDT, we leave it like this because we um, add the control into MDT which one can actually start a deployment and not up to Windows Deployment Services. This is not really useful when we um, have MDT in place, we'll skip this one. The boot, we can configure if we should be able to press F12 for example or not at the client side to initiate the Pixie boot process. I can also select what boot image that I want to have as a default boot image. Client settings mainly used for using uh, Windows Deployment Services as installation engine and we are not so we will leave this one. The networking is however important. You are not supposed to run Windows Deployment Services and DNS on the same box because they will basically compete about the ports being used by the different services. If you do maybe for a lab and test environment, do have to run Windows Deployment Services and DNS on the same box. You need to change the UDP port range uh, if you're running on 2003 or 2008 and uh, you need to flip a uh, register key if you're running 2008 R2. So by going into the registry and by going to the HK Local Machine System Current Control Set Services Windows Deployment Services parameter. We can now set a UDP port policy value. By changing this from a 1 to a 0, I'm now configuring Windows Deployment Services DNS and DNS to basically ask for what ports are being available. Another option, and again my only option if I'm using older version than R2, is to basically increase the range of available ports like this. Multicast, we have the configuration for our multicast protocol and as you can see in R2 we now have the option of actually if we want to we can create multiple streams separating clients into different sessions in this case slow, medium and fast. If we are running DHCP and Windows Deployment Services on the same server, these options should be set so that, pretty much like the DNS issue, they don't compete um, using the same ports.